You know, I was just thinking to myself, how cool would it be if I ended up getting a pickaxe? Like, this is this is after I get this mob trap system up and running, and after I light up all the caves and everything. If I get enough XP, I reckon I'd be able to get a pickaxe that has both unbreaking and uh, efficiency. Because if I can get that, that would be amazing. Because right now, these pickaxes just get eaten up way too quickly. Then again, I really want a pickaxe with fortune or silk touch, because that would be awesome. But uh, for the time being, I have to deal with just losing my delicious pickaxes much, much quicker than intended. But oh well, I guess it's not all bad. It makes mining a little bit funner, so I don't have to spend like 50 minutes breaking a block. I'm looking at you, obsidian! But uh, anyways. So I think this is the, yeah, this is the third system. Oh, and there's a dark area nearby. That That's just... That's so encouraging, like, you don't even know how encouraging that is. I feel so good that there is a dark area nearby. Ugh. And if you don't know what sarcasm is, then I, I suggest you don't worry about it. But, uh, anyways. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, damn. You just missed it. Well, I just missed it. Yep. Definitely slime farm. Definitely. Well, I suppose it's not all bad. Uh, yes, it is. Well, no, I guess some extra... Um, some extra slimes in there won't hurt too much, but man, these canals are a... They're just annoying as hell to fix up, because there's all the caves and shit underneath. And also, uh, they're original, They're eventually going to be uh, one block lower anyway, because I need to carry the water streams so it's just gonna take even longer to get used to but eh, I'm not complaining well I am complaining that's a thing but I'm not complaining because as long as this gets set up then hopefully you know everything will turn out better in the end I don't know what the saying is alrighty so we've done all 16 pads now all we have to do is just cover up these holes here in the ceiling I gotta be careful not to leave it too dark behind the roof because uh, yeah, spiders might spawn, other creatures might spawn if it's two blocks high. It wouldn't be so bad if spiders spawned, um, because this mob system isn't really intended for spiders. Um, long story short, I think spiders would fuck up the system, but uh, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure we could live with it. It's not, it's not going to be too bad. And if I get another sword with the Bane of Arthropods, then I'm, you know, I, I'm not complaining. But, uh, yeah, oh, see, I think I left that too dark. too dark. There we go. But uh, after this roof has been completed, there's really not much left to do. Actually, I've got to leave that open. So i got to design the... Well, not really design, it's really straightforward. Or straight down, meh. No? Okay. Put... Damn it! Damn it! Fucking... There we go. It's all good. It's all right, it's all good. It's not, though. But, uh, alright, I think we're good there. Put the. Oh! Okay. There and there. Fill in that. Fill in this. This, this, this. And like I said ages ago, but I never did. I'm gonna have to replace that. What the hell? Oh. No idea. I wish my mouse would stop being a douchebag. But any. Oh, dang it. Oh, wait, no, this is the. Doll. Alright, I think that's that's good. So we've I'm pretty sure I've cleared all the canals down to the base two level. Um the canals are gonna be lowered in the middle, so it's gonna be like a, a U shape in each of the canals, like a banana, I guess. Um and I'm gonna have to move this ladder as well, so yeah, I think we're gonna make like a Well I'm gonna dig straight up. I don't know whether to dig straight up from one of the sides um, or dig straight down from inside the building because I, no, I think I'll dig up from one of these sides because um, that's the only way to actually be able to measure it. So let's see, this ladder comes up where exactly this is. Okay, so I think I got the orientation correct. So yeah, alright. So I'm going to have to put a ladder out in a shed somewhere to get down here, but that's alright because we're not going to be down here much after we uh, enable it. So we're going to set it up once and then pretty much run. 
So, I think I'm going to put a door over in this direction. Just like here or something, I guess. Uh, maybe a little viewing area, perhaps? No, not really. But... No, that's going to be too bright. Right. Uh, actually, no, it shouldn't be too bad if I use half slabs for uh, the landing area, I guess, because it's not going to be too... Uh, it's not going to be too bright. No, too dark, so monsters don't spawn. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I left my ladders. So I gotta go get those. Oh, uh, actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll need to get them. Gotta come get those ladders from somewhere. There they are. So then after we're down in the system, we should be able to hurry this up. Alright, so ladders aren't made of wood. But they can be harvested quickly with this efficiency pickaxe. And I know some people are probably going to say, Uh, oh, you're wasting the pickaxe. Does it really look like I care? Damn, look at this speed. Oh, and I forgot my torch. Oh, I still hit it with a tool. Mm. Uh, I, was, I was thinking if I should fill this in or something. Actually, I think I, think I might leave this here. Just, as a, just to be sure that nothing decides to spawn. Alright, so knock out these two. Put this one higher. Finish the roof. Wow, that was very convenient considering I stored all my cobblestone just then. Um, oh, and this is double convenient considering I can just make it up and then get rid of that block. I'm probably after gonna come back down here and then do all the stuff anyway, so. Now we have all these ladders, we can start going to the top. Hang on. I'm probably going to make a second mine shaft here, and I still have to finish the one in my main base, don't I? It's still not totally done yet. But, um, put a door down here real quick. I'm not sure if anyone's, like, following along as I do this, like, building a mine, uh, not a mine shaft, but, like, a mob system at the same time. I'm pretty sure, like, everyone in the face of Minecraft knows how to build a mob system by now. Now, this is actually dangerous, because... This is technically breaking the first rule of Minecraft, never dig straight down. This is actually kind of like the second rule. It's kind of unwritten, but it's... Once you know the first rule, it's kind of, you know, obvious. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Uh, I'm gonna be here a while. Alright, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so on, until I reach the top. Alright, so as you guys can see, I've got the two water buckets down here. This will be for the infinite spring down at the bottom. Uh, filled my inventory up with signs. Uh, so now we're actually prepared. There's just a little corridor back here with the water break at the bottom. Bang. Half slabs to stop them from spawning, so it's not too bright in here. Stop mobs spawning out here. Um, but now we have to actually work on the tough part. <laughs> uh, yeah, not looking forward to it, but I actually like the way that the water streams work if I do it this way. So, as you know, water travels eight blocks and then stops. So, we have to continue this, wa uh, this uh, water flow from every possible canal to this here, to the center of the room, to get every mob to this part. So, to do that, we're going to have to use stairs, which I actually forgot. Alright, I got the stairs now. This should um, this should actually work, hopefully, uh, if I remember how to do the water stream. I'll test it over here first to make sure that it definitely does work before I go and screw it all up. So usually I have it like this. You can change it your own little way if you want. Um, oh wow, that's going to be annoying. Can't pick up any of this. Well, I'll put down a sign or two first. Yeah, hang on. Got to figure it. Got to figure this out. All right. So the way I have it generally is uh, find out where the center of your room is. Obviously, it's not too hard. And then on the outside of every possible juncture, have stairs. So don't put the stairs here because that's facing towards the center. Have them like this. Think of it like you have to draw the enemies up the stairs. 
right? So you don't want them to go away from the center of the room, you want them to go towards it. So dig out the canals like this. If uh, See, I don't know if anyone's doing this mob trap system, so I don't really care for explaining it, but basically diagonal from a staircase, from any staircase that you do, you do signs, like so. Now this will, uh, when you have a water stream here, and a water stream above a staircase, this sign will, uh, I, I really don't know the term for this, connect I guess, with the staircase, so water will actually flow upwards through this. So mobs, as they're going, well let me demonstrate this for a second, with some water. So if we have two water streams like this, so it'll reach the staircase. Now where did I have the water stream? There it is. Take some more, come down here. Right, so because this is a uh, corner, right, it's a corner intersection. It's really hard to explain all this, believe me. Um, but basically what I need to do is do both of these at the same time. So I'll just do that quickly. So the water doesn't flow out. Now, the center of the room is over there. This is what you have to keep in mind while you're building one of these. So go down on the next floor. A, uh, exactly like you know the same thing every single time um, occasionally you might run into a cave that's you really can't help that just cover it up but uh, now that you've got this set up you can put the water here now it'll always flow like this you, there's no way to stop that except you can put it there I think no how did I fix this before uh, wait, no, maybe I've got an extra block here, like this, yeah, there we go, alright, so that's how you do that water stream, disregard what I said before, <laughs> you have to do it like this, so now, if you can make your way over here, the water stream flows up, yes, but it also flows that direction, so if you were a mob, letting go of all controls right now, you drift along slowly, and you get pushed up the stairs manually, and this stream, no matter which canal you're in, will take you the shortest possible route to the center of the room. So it, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this already, but if you don't, it's fairly simple. It's a fairly simple concept. There's not a lot to it, and obviously I'm not the guy that invented this thing. But um, when you come to a uh, section like this, you need to... It's generally the same thing, really. It's not that hard. Uh, stairs facing the center of the room. So because this is a straight and not a corner intersection, you're going to have to have three staircases because you're drawing them to this pathway as quickly as possible. But yeah, just try and duplicate this. And you're going to be going back for water a lot. So uh, it's not a bad idea to have more than one water source, but I uh, can't really be bothered because you guys know me. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't be stuffed. Anyways, just get more water here. Um, now, what you do for this, this is a little bit different than a corner intersection. Um, and I actually better do the side over there, shouldn't I? So I'll just run this water so I don't forget it. There we go. Take some more. Knock out the bridge. So now everything flows there, so enemies can fall into that, or enemies can fall into this. And they can just swim their tiddly little way to the center of the room and be lifted up and uh, eventually destroyed. Alright, so you do exactly the same as you did before with the stairs and the, the uh, signs. Not like that, because that will do absolutely nothing. And it needs to be spot on, because if it's not, one little mistake can screw up your entire system. Oop, like that. You don't want an E there. Oh god no. You do not want an E there. That's the last thing you want. But um, yeah, just place that there. Now, you need, because this is the straight system, you need to have water... Uh, better. Damn it! I always do that. Come down like this. Here's the center of the room. I'll fix this up later. Obviously it's not the best. But um, here you need two water sources, like this. Now it's kind of like a, whereas this splits, this joins. So water streams will come from here, here, and here, and mobs will automatically be directed to the middle of the stream. So you just have to repeat that pattern a hell of a lot of times, and then you should be done.
And just a side note about the stairs, I'm not sure if people use this method that much, like if it's ineffective. It's just the best way I've found to uh, actually set up the water streams. I'm pretty sure there's probably different ways to do it. I'm not the most creative motherfucker in the world, but obviously um, there should be... You shouldn't have too many problems if you go with the water stream, like the with the staircase. Um, uh, staircases are more than likely needed for this system, but in this fashion, maybe not the same way I do it. Um, pretty sure people could improve upon it, probably. Um, I'm not going to hold you to it if you don't want to improve it, but, you know, if you want to try it yourself, then by all means go ahead. I'm not going to flame you for it. And, uh, yeah, don't be a retard and place the signs correctly and you might do alright. But I think that's the last bit of advice I can give you. Hopefully by the time I return I'll have this finished. If not, I'm going to be most displeased. Yeah, okay, that's good. I um, need one more sign. I'm running out of signs quick as well. Oh, and you're going to probably need quite a bit of wood to um, finish this system. So you might want to set up a tree farm before you do it. Just a word of advice. But uh, once everything comes at the center of the room, it'll all be pinned into the middle coordinate and uh, should allow for a lot of mobs to be in that one area at once. So, um, set up these water streams now. Uh, right, that's what happens when you forget a sign. You fuck up the water stream. That's all right, easily fixed. And if there's like a blank space or something, you just have to update the water. No big deal. And this is actually being a bitch, so I'm going to have to remove that altogether. And what the hell is it doing? Ah, there we go. Yeah. It just takes a little bit of fiddling around with it to get it to work. Um, that's what she said. But also, yeah, it should be quite straightforward from here on. I mean, yeah, it's... Mob systems are quite common nowadays anyway, so... You shouldn't have too much trouble finding a guide or something if... My design's a bit too overcomplicated or something, but I just like the way the water streams look in the end. It just works out a hell of a lot better. And they can't jump out of this either, so... And, well... It's very difficult to navigate between spawning pads, though. I recommend, like, ladders or something to get you around. But, yeah. One eternity later. Alright, so I just finished up the mob spawning pads. Got all the water streams set up. So I guess now the only thing left to do is set up the mob evader in the center. All the water streams, as you can see, go to the middle there, and then after that I'll remove all the torches and hopefully this thing will actually work. Right, so this is how I'm going to do the entrance to the mob evader. I know there's probably a better way to do this, but um, I'm just going on what I know should work. So I'm going to put signs in like this fashion, so we can put a sign on a sign, remember that. Um, you can also put a sign on another sign very carefully. Whoops. S Ooh, that's what's going to happen to me. That's a, that's a bad omen. Now, it doesn't really matter what the signs look like here. I'm not really going for looks. Now, do it again. Um, and typically, I'm out of signs, and I need literally one more to do this. And then I need, like, a shit ton more uh, to get to the top. I realize that I don't need sign, water, sign, water, sign, water. I can have sign and then quite a few water sources and then another sign uh, just to make sure that they don't drown, but they all need to be uh, water sources. So here we just need basically four sign blocks and uh, then we'll have water here and hopefully the mobs will get pushed into it. If not, then I'll have to lower the signs to maybe here. Uh, actually, yeah, actually, I think I might do that instead. I might lower this by one block and I'll get back to you on that. 